Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I hope you guys are well So we are going to continue studying The next story on Al-Qira'atul Rashida Al-Qira'atul Rashida And the, th the story is Known as Al-Namlatu 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 means The end The end Now take note In the Arabic language Sometimes we use the term Marbuta To denote a gender Okay, so Sometimes we say uh, Al Ibn means the son, Al Ibn Nadu means the daughter. The term Marbuta denotes the gender of the word. But sometimes the term Marbuta all denotes something different. Okay, it can mean, it can mean, it can refer to a specific item within this. So Al Namlatu can mean a specific ant, i.e., one ant. It can also mean a plural the term marbuta to denote a plural ants it can also mean species a specific species of ants okay so not every ant but a specific spe species of ant and namletu okay so in this story we study a namletu which refers to a specific ant the story of a specific ant now this is a poem in the arabic language and poems in the Arabic language are very interesting because it comes with a couple of things. The first one is what we call a title. In Arabic, we call it Unwen. Unwen. Okay. Unwen al qasida The title of the poem. A poem in the Arabic language is known as a qasida Okay. So, any poem in the Arabic language, it comes with an Unwen, a title. It, can, it also comes in two parts. So you can see here, it has a sentence over here, it has a sentence over here as well. And it continues with the same order. Okay. In the Arabic language, the first part, we call it a sadr. A sadr. Okay. It literally means the chest. Okay. And it refers to the front part of the poem. And then we have what we call al ajiz which is the back part of the, of the poem. Okay, so these parts over here are what we call al ajis Okay, each one of them is known as an ajis These parts, these parts are known as a sadr. Okay, now when a sentence comes together from the first part and the second part, when it comes together, we call it a bait. Okay, we call it a al bait. Al bait literally means a home. Okay, but you can also say it as a poem. Al bait can also mean a poem. Okay, so you need to take note of the difference meaning the, the difference of meanings in the Arabic language. Okay, so al bait can mean a home. Al bait can also mean a poem. And interestingly, because and I'll show you a, a cool, interesting thing as to why they call it al bait, because a home has a door. A home has a has a door. Like for example, excuse my drawing. So let's say this is a home, there's a door, there's a space for you to enter. Just like a poem, a poem, a poem has a space in between as well. Okay, so that's why you call it al bait. Okay, al bait has, has, has a door, has a space in between with two walls, two lines. Just so a poem as well has two lines. And in between them, there is a space. That's why we call it El Bait. Okay. So, a poem is known as El Bait, the plural of which is Abiyat. Okay. Abiyat. That's the plural of the word El Bait. Okay. But you might be aware of another uh, word called El Bait. El Bait is also another word for a home. For that, the plural is Buyu. Houses, build. Okay, but in this case, we're referring to a poem, and the plural for a poem is abiyat. Abiyat. Okay. So, so this is what we call a sadr. This is what we call a lajis. Okay. Now, the entire thing, the entire portion. Of the edges, the entire portion of the sadr is what we call al-misra. Al-misra al 
misra. Okay, so these parts are what we call a misra one. These parts are what we call a misra one as well. Okay, so you need to name, take note of these terms in the Arabic language. It's good to know. Okay, so let's try to recite the let's try to recite recite the poem now. So Tala Sai Bil Amel Lestu Arda Bil Kessel. Okay. Tala Sai Bil Amel Lestu Arda Bil Kessel. Tala means to to be prolonged. Okay, to be prolonged. I'm sure you heard of the word Tawil. Same. Tala. Okay, to be prolonged. Sa'i means struggle, my struggle. Okay, my struggle. So, ta'la sa'i, my struggle is prolonged. Okay, to be prolonged, my struggle, bil amal, with hope. So, the ant is trying to say that my struggle is prolonged because I have hope. With hope, amal. Amal means hope. Okay, now if you say amal, with the ayin. This one means work. Okay, this one means work. And you see it at the end of the poem later. We'll go through it later on, inshallah. So, ta'ala. So, ta'ala. Sa'yi bil amal. Lastu arda bil kasal. Lastu means I do not. Okay, or I am not. So, I am not. Arda, arda means please. Okay, so less to arda, I am not pleased. Bil kasal, with laziness. Kasal means to be lazy. So ta'ala sa'i bil amal. I pro um, my struggle is prolonged with hope. Less to arda bil kasal. I, I am not pleased with laziness. In other words, the ant does not like to be lazy. He likes to struggle, he likes to work because he has hope. غايتي نيل الطلب لا أبالي بالتعب غايتي نيل بالطلب لا أبالي بالتعب so غايتي means goal غاية means goal غايتي my goal okay so my goal نيل الطلب نيل means to achieve okay نيل means to achieve so غايتي my goal is to achieve the request. Okay, so my goal to achieve. Okay, my goal is to achieve the request. In other words, he has a dream that he wants to attain. Okay, so غايتي نيل الطلب. Okay, my goal is to achieve a certain request. لا أبالي. I do not care. Okay, this is something that you should memorize. This is an interesting expression. لا أبالي. I do not care. بالتعب. With exhaustion. Okay, exhaustion. I'm getting tired. I do not care about getting tired. He wants his goal. Okay. أبتني البيت الحسن بنظام للسكن أبتني البيت الحسن بنظام للسكن بنظام للسكن أبتني I build okay أبتني means I build البيت the house الحسن the good house okay I build the good house very strong very good house okay أبتني البيت so I build the good house. Binizamin is second. We have a system. A nizam means a system. This second for living. Okay. Second. And a school. Same root word. So this second. Okay. Walikuti adhabu lastu yawman alabu. Walikuti. Wa. Wa means an. Li kuti. Li for. Kuti. Kuti means sustenance. Kuti can 
also means staple food. Okay, staple food. So if you're an Asian, your staple food most of the time will be rice, for example. Okay. So what equal the and for sustenance at the apple I go. Okay, and for sustenance and for my sustenance I go. Okay. In other words he's trying to say to attain his sustenance he's going out. He's going to work. The the ant is going to work all, all the time. So what he called the what he called the Ethabu Les to Yoman Elabu I do not Again this is a negative particle Les to I do not Yoman Elabu a day Elabu I play Okay so he's trying to say I do not play for even a day Okay what he called the for my sustenance I go out and work I do not play even for a day كل صيف أجمعه okay. كل صيف أجمعه لطعام يشبعه كل صيف every summer okay. صيف means every summer so every summer أجمعه I gather okay. I gather in this case he's talking about food okay. going back to old so every summer gathers the food for food that will satisfy for food that will satisfy okay so for me and food that will satisfy okay that satisfies so he's trying to say that every summer he will gather out he'll, he'll go out to gather food to get food that will satisfy him. Okay. فإذا جاء المطر كان لي بيتي المقر. فإذا جاء and when or if. Okay. إذا can mean when or if. And if جاء المطر. And if the rain comes. Okay. If the rain comes. كان لي بيتي المقر. My house, baiti. My house was for me a makar. Makar means an HQ, headquarters or central area. Okay. Can any baiti? Okay, it was for me, i.e., my house. My house was for me a makar, headquarters. Okay, so whenever rain comes, he'll go back to his, his nest, for instance. Okay. Thaka shani. في الصغر ونظامي في الكبر. Okay, we've seen this before. We've seen these two words being used before. ذاك means that. Okay, that. شأني that is my situation. شأن means situation. في الصغر in when I'm young, when I'm in my childhood. The aunt is talking about when he is young. He has been doing that for many years, but he's, since he's young. ونظامي and this is my system or my routine. في الكبر when I'm older when I'm old. إنني okay إنني إن is a taki is a uh, particle that emphasizes something. So surely okay surely إنني surely I am okay surely I am. نعم المثل a good okay نعم means a good or Blessing, an amazing thing. Name a method, a good example. Which tiadi fil amal with my hard work at work. Okay, with my hard work, as he is very, he is a very hard working man, and his work. Okay, now you can see, you can see. I hope you understand the story so far. Okay, it's just an ant, and he's talking about his his day to day life and what he what he does for his. For his colony, he's a very hardworking and You can see how beautiful Arabic poetry is in terms of how it's arranged. There is the word amel, which means hope, and they change one letter and they end it with the same similar word, except that now it's an ayn. Amel means hope. Amel means work. You can see the symmetry between the two. Okay, so it's a very interesting. 
man, very interesting poem about an ant and his his lifestyle, his his routine every single day. Okay, see you on the next one. Salam alaikum.